I was a curious kid. I think that I, I started having an interest in books and, and, and things and widgets and, and fixing things when I was young. But I think centrally, I always just wanted to be someone that made a difference. I convinced myself as a kid that I could do that playing sports, doing engineering, and fortunately I got to do a little bit of both. Vanderbilt's a good place to do that. So I walked on, I was a walk-on. You know, if you're a scholarship player and you have a lab and you gotta miss practice, that's one thing, but if you're a walk-on and you're trying to get respect and you have to miss practice for a lab, that's a challenge. And I, I, I was put in those situations and had to deal with that. And um, it was not easy. I had several semesters where I had 18 or 19 hours. Um, and, you know, that's, you know, those semesters you really don't have a life outside of school and football. But I had a happy ending with it all. I, you know, came back, I, I got a scholarship my last year, and I was the starting fullback and scored a couple touchdowns, so that was awesome. But it was hard. It's, it's not, it's a challenge, but it does shape you to be disciplined and to learn how to manage your time. All these basic life skills that you eventually have to get to be a successful adult, you get those earlier when you balance sports and engineering. I applied to one graduate institution, which is Purdue. I enjoyed it. It was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. Um, the environment was perfect to do a PhD. Great resources, great people. I was the first graduate student, first student to move into the Burke Nanotechnology Center. This great nano center is going to be the best in the country. I take a lot of pride saying that I was, I was the first student there. And I spent a lot of late nights in that clean room, but I always considered it a privilege. And I still talk about that today, that a select few people get the opportunity to go in there and to chase their dreams, to have a chance to make something that never existed before a reality, to make it happen, right? That's, that's my experience at Purdue, and it, it is happening. The carbon nanotube, which I worked on with Tim Fisher, it's a magical material in that because it's made of carbon, when you combine them together, they do a lot of amazing things. They are 10 times stronger than steel. They are eight times more conductive than copper. Um, so they have all these fantastic properties. And what I worked on was the thermal property. The fact that they can basically be the new standard of thermal transfer in industry. It's the first new thermal material in 150 years, really. So Carbice Corporation commercializes vertically aligned carbon nanotubes the same material that I came to Purdue to study and I got my PhD on. We make the world's new standard of thermal adhesive. We released two products last year, uh, Space Tape and Infinity Tape. Uh, Space Tape has become the leading product for assembling electronic components in space builds for satellites and vehicles. And Infinity has become a leading product that's really changed how things are done in the chip making business. Purdue is a special place and a special community for one to develop oneself into a better person. When you're here, you have an opportunity to be immersed in this, this intentional experience of being in the Boilermaker community. To me, there's no better training for life in the challenges of the complex world that we live in and all the information being thrown at us today to be able to filter through. How do you filter through that information in a logical, thoughtful way? These are the things that engineering teaches you. And this is why it's, it's, you know, there's no surprise why you have engineers that are the leaders of our best Fortune 500 companies. Why there are engineers that are um, stalwarts in their community. Peel back the layers of society and that engineering training shows up in places that you you never could even imagine yourself being.